we're going to be making some. Um, we're going to make a sauce. It's called a shiro miso, um, a shiro miso paste, which is part of the simply cook, uh, which we're then going to add to some rice. We're also instead of uh, you could have this with asparagus, but instead I'm going to be using sugar snap peas. Okay, so I will go through the uh, the recipe with you. Um, so I'll just let you know what is Simply Cook. If you're all wondering what is Simply Cook, well, it's a UK subscription service. You can get four meals for free with free delivery if you go into the link in my bio. And uh, as I say, it is subscription, so make sure if you don't want them every month, um, then to cancel. But I've got another four recipes on order for next month, so I like to show you how to do these meals. Um, and as I say, yeah, if you want, if you want to try these for free, then go on the link in the bio and select four recipes. There might be four recipes that I've made before here, or you can just go onto YouTube and search or on Haps, and uh, you can find the videos. Okay, hello Pablo, thanks for coming in. So yeah, Japanese seared steak. I think I've done this one before. Um, so the recipe that we calls for is this will serve for two people. Uh, you're going to need two sirloin steak. So I've got some sirloin steak here which we're then we're going to add to some steak rub. Um, we've got three spring onions, so three nicely spring onions. You might call them scallions, if you call them scallions. <laughs> um, and then you're going to need some jasmine rice. Now, it asks for 100 grams of jasmine rice. Okay, now what I've done is I've just um, washed them in cold water. So you need to put jasmine rice into some cold water, rinse them through, and then put it into the pan. Um, I've added 100 grams of jasmine rice. So I've just put it into cold water. I'm going to start to boil. Is that even on? No. Let me just check something a minute. That should be all right. Um, I'll put it on in a second. Um, and then we're going to need some asparagus. Now, asparagus is in season at the moment, um, but I'm not using asparagus. I'm going to be using sugar snap peas instead. Okay. And then you're going to need a lime. A lime. And then you're going to need some vegetable oil. And as I say, we've got our flavor pots. So um, hello, Anne. Thanks for coming in. Um, great broadcast, by the way. Um, they were nice. They looked really nice. If you've not watched Anne and Alexis's broadcast, um, they went live. They did the cheddar pancakes and they looked amazing. So I was very impressed. So when I did my pancakes, I just flattened them just uh, slightly. So that's why I got less. Um, in the pan and uh, but yeah they looked really nice so yeah definitely go and make them um, okay so let's make a start then let's make a start um, remember you can share the broadcast if you're watching me on any other platform other than apps then why are you not on the app come and download the app haps app you can download it on ios and android so make sure to download the app tell your friends as well because partly now we're out of lockdown, you can go to see your friends and your family and get them on board and get them to download the app. Even steal their phone. Get the phone off them and get them to download. And they'll be like, what's this app here? One second, who's that? Who's that? Is that? Is that Aiden? What's Aiden doing on my phone? And then you'll be like, wow, there you go. I can see you at all times of the day. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spin you around, okay? I can smell this already because I've put my pan on. Um, so what we're going to do, first of all, let me just spin you around. We need to do the steaks and we're going to add some of this, um, these flavour pots in. Uh, I've posted the recipe in a picture too, but they're on two different posts. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so if anyone wants the recipe for the pancakes, uh, go on to Anne's profile, they're on there as well. Um, but that recipe actually is, it is from the Diabetic Association over here in the UK. So it's sort of a recommended recipe for those that might be diabetic. But for anyone that's just wanting to lose, you know, reduce the amount of calories in food, because, you know, we want we want something filling on the morning. Um, but there's loads of other recipes I'm going to be showing you how to make. So, yes, the challenge is on, guys. The challenge is on. Right, I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring you around, bring you down. Let me know how the connection is in the chat. Oops. Oh, we've gone off. Oops. Not sure what happened there. Are we back on now? It's a good job I checked that, wasn't it? I'm trying not to burn myself. So hopefully you can see the bowl. One second. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to add some oil to my pan to get this nice and hot because I'm always waiting around. But what we need to do 
is we're going to drizzle a little oil over the steak and rub rub the steak mix into into the steak so i've got two nice pieces of steak here room temperature okay so i'm going to pop these into the bowl just like that so two nice big pieces of steak look at these look at these pieces of steak guys mm. so this is japanese style that we're making wash my hands move that out of the way and then we're going to open up this box. So this is the box that you get. So nicely presented. You can buy these in the supermarket now as well, but there's only a limited range. And the first thing we're going to do is add rub the steak rub on top of the steak. So we're going to take our steak rub and we're going to rub it onto both sides. Okay. So we're going to get our steak, just rub these in. Make sure you don't miss any. And get all that flavour into the steaks. You can either use a spoon or, you know, get all that flavour in. Just like that. Can you all see that, everyone? Hopefully you can see that. Okay, I'm just going to do the second one. Obviously, alternative is just keep a little bit left, and then when you put it onto the grill, you can rub this in while it's cooking, if you want to do it that way. That seems to have come off that one. Just rub it in. And I'll tell you what's in this as well, this flavouring in a second. So just rub all that in. There's a, I know that Alexa sometimes dampens her steaks, so you know it doesn't steam the meat. So that's entirely up to you. I think yeah, I forgot to do it, but I am remembering more <laughs> to do things like that. But I do like a juicy steak, so be juicy in the middle. But, but I want this. I want the herbs to stick to the to the steak. Um, uh, so uh, Swift Beats will be on tonight. Haps take over at the Musicians at eleven o'clock tonight UK time. Everybody, so make sure to tune into that. I'll possibly be awake still. I might be able to come on at that time. Uh, if not, I will be. I'll watch on the replay. So next thing we're going to do then is heat a little bit of oil in a lidded saucepan, and we're going to fry the spring onions. So I actually put the water into the into my saucepan. So what I'm going to do, just pop that to one side. I did put it on, thankfully. But what I can do is just empty the rice. Let me just make some room. I'm going to pop the steak to one side a minute. So I'm just going to transfer this rice. It's not been on, so I'm just going to empty this into a, a saucepan because I need this pan, you see. Maybe a second. My pan is going to be so hot. That steak is going to just instantly start cooking us when it, when it hits, hits the meat. So just get all that out. Um, get a tea towel. Okay. So I'm just going to move that to one side as well with the steak. And what we're going to do is heat a little oil in a lidded non stick pan. So let's put a little bit of oil in here because we're going to need to chop these spring onions up. Let me move this pan out of the way. Do that first because it's steaming hot. Okay, so what we're going to do is just chop these spring onions. Now these need to be cut up into uh, thinly sliced, it says, thinly sliced. So let's chop these off. Hopefully you can all see this. I'll try and read some of the comments in a second. Now I like to use all of the all of it just like that okay so heat oil oil in a lidded non-stick saucepan over high heat and fry the spring onions and, and if you've got mushrooms if you're using mushrooms use mushrooms okay so hopefully you can see that i'm going to add this to the pan just like that i'm just going to fry these for two minutes if you're using mushrooms use mushrooms as well 
So similar to how the onions were made, saute in the onions, we're gonna saute our my spring onions. Yeah, that would be a good idea, Pablo, I agree. To be able to add to two pictures on one instead of just one. So it's gonna fry that for two minutes. Okay, and then you would add your mushrooms here for another two minutes. We're then going to add um, the shishmi rice stock. So we've got some shishmi rice stock that we're going to be adding to this pan in a second. So just let them fry for about two minutes or so. Um, okay. And then the next thing after this is we're going to add in the rice. Now I put the rice in some water and then last time I made this I did it wrong. So you, you we're going to add the water and the rice into this saucepan, okay? So it'll be cold water, not hot water. And then we want to bring it to the boil once we've added all this in. So if you're adding mushrooms, add mushrooms in at this point. For two minutes, that's all you need. It also says here, take the steaks out of the fridge at least 15 minutes before you cook them to help them cook evenly. So that's another tip regarding the steaks. So the pan's nice and hot, but it did get too hot. So once it goes back onto this hob, I can move it across. But let's get another hob on heating up so it's nice and hot as well. So let's add this rice. This is a shish, it's called a, a shishimi rice stock. Shishimi rice stock. So let's add this in. And that this is what all the. I think Andrew's over in uh, Japan at the moment. Because this is something that he might be ordering from his. Oh, it's really spicy. I just had a little kick of it. So add this shishimi rice stock in. Oh, <laughs> it's gone right in my. right on my throat. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to, and then we want to stir it, stir it very well into it. Take that off if you need to, so it doesn't burn the pan. So let's get in this rice stock. Get the rice and the rice in there as well. So we add the rice, which has been in the water. So this is jasmine rice we're adding. Just going to mix all that in. So if you, as I say, if you have any mushrooms, add your mushrooms in as well. So get all that rice out. And just give that a stir. Get all that rice stock. Check you've got it all out. Get all that, that flavour, because sometimes you can miss some of the flavours in the in the pots. Okay, no worries, Melanie. Thanks for coming in though. Okay, I'm just going to transfer now this to the to another hob, and let's move this this pan down because this is what we're going to be using for the steak for the next stage. So we're going to let that simmer, let that boil, and it needs to cook for ten minutes. Reduce the heat to low. So I'll put it on low. You can put a lid over if you want to. Um, turn off the heat. Leave it leave it covered until serving. That's once it's cooked. I've got a lid over it. Okay, so next step then we're going to fry the steak. Heat a griddle pan over medium high heat. When it's hot, put the steaks uh, and cook for four to five minutes. So let's, this is really hot. So let's pop these on and they've been room temperature with all the flavours. Are we ready? There you go. That's what you want to hear. So we're doing Japanese style here. I'm going to let this cook for four to five minutes. So it's already got oil in the pan and it's got all the nice flavour, you know, it's seasonings on the top. It was a steak rub that we added to the meat. And it says, when, when hot, put the steaks in and cook for four to five minutes in total for medium rare. Flipping flipping them occasionally, then remove them and rest them.
covered in foil. So we're going to get some foil ready. I do agree that when you rest the steak, that's when it tastes the best. We're also going to be making a sauce. So, but it says there, next thing, remove them and rest covered in a foil. Actually, yeah, do it in a griddle pan. And then it says remove them and, yeah, fry the asparagus, if you're using asparagus, in the same pan for three minutes or until tender. Well, we're going to be using, we're going to be using sugar snap peas. So have some sugar snap peas ready. I've got here, you can steam these actually. If you want to steam them, you don't have to fry them. Because I've got my um, steamer pot here, I'm going to actually steam my sugar snap peas. I'm going to pop them into it. I'm going to use them all. I might as well steam them. It doesn't take long to steam them. There we go. Nice and easy, there you go. <laughs> but we will, we will need to make a sauce, um, which you can do in a small bowl in a microwave. I'm going to probably, I'm going to do it on the hob. So I'm going to get a, uh, maybe a sauce pan out. I can use the sauce pan that I used earlier. We've got about three minutes left. So this is the saucepan I'm going to use. Hello Alexis, how are you doing? Well done on the cheddar pancakes. So, about another two minutes. Remember, no, don't touch the steak. Don't turn it over. This has got all the nice steak rub on the top. Okay, we're boiling our, boiling our, it's called a, I can't say it, but shishimi rice stock in jasmine rice with spring onions and um, the stock and water. And we're also boiling and steaming some sugar snap peas, sugar snap peas. So another two minutes on the steak and we'll turn it over and then we're going to take them out and we're going to rest them in some foil. Hello Tessie, how are you doing? Thanks for coming in. Let's get some tongs ready. So make sure your griddle pan's you know really hot. Oh it smells really nice. So one more minute, 60 seconds to go. I might fry some of the sugar the peas if it doesn't boil up quickly enough. Let's turn it up a bit. So we are making a sauce in a second as well. So how long left to go? 30 seconds. And we're going to turn it over. Yep, now I'm going to turn them over. There we go. Oh yes, look at that. Oh yeah. What do we, what do we think guys? What do we think? Look at them. So, I'm going to let them sit there for another Another four to five minutes. So it says here, for, the, for this sauce we're going to make, we're going to melt a knob of butter in a small bowl. Then we're going to add, stir in the shiro miso paste and the juice of half a lime. Okay, so let's get a lime. Let's get some lime juice going on. Got my lime ready. Let's get some butter we need. So uh, a knob of butter or margarine would be fine. So I'm just 
going to get, I think, a tablespoon of butter is enough. Don't want loads. So I'm going to use this uh, Nord Pack slightly salted butter. So I'm just going to get in. We're going to get our saucepan. I'm going to put a knob of butter in there, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start. I'm going to start the process of melting this now. Let's pop this on the side. Well, actually, this will be nearly done, actually. I can wait, because it does need to cool down. I can wait a second. Make sure I didn't turn that on. Look, I've just realised that my gridden pan was very hot anyway, but I turned it down slightly. So we might have to give it an extra minute on each side, depending on how you like the steak. Let me know how you like your steak. Do you like it medium, medium rare, cooked? <laughs> what are we doing? We've got another two minutes left. I don't want to burn the spices, that's the thing. <laughs> how do I like my steak? Medium rare. I'm, gonna, I'm going off the recipe today because I always cook my steak too long and uh, I like it where it's I like it how it shows you in the picture because when we're going to cut this steak up it should be nice and pink in the middle but nice and crispy and t cooked on on the top so another minute sometimes i could overcook my steak as well so, so another another 60 seconds tessie likes her medium alexis likes her medium as well they're nice pieces of steak. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm going to take that off now. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. If only, if only there was a steak award. So I'm going to put them on some foil. Just like that. I'm going to move this off. It's very, very hot. Okay, and what we're going to do is put, we're going to start to melt some butter. So, I'm going to melt some butter here. Here are the steaks. As you can see, there's the steaks, everyone. Look at them. They look nice. Why do I put them on foil? It's because we're going to let them sit. We, know we want them to still cook, but we want them to stay warm. And we're going to be cutting the steak up anyway, so... That's the reason why. It just keeps them cooking, keeps them warm. So, so we've just got some melted butter in here. Okay, uh, turn that down a bit. And then we're going to add in the shiro miso paste. So you want some shiro miso paste. That's what we're going to be adding to make this sauce. So let's add this in. Shiro miso paste. Get all that flavour out. Mix all that in. Okay, so mix all that in into the butter. And then we're going to add some juice, half the juice of a lime. Just like that. It's quite a lot of juice there. Hmm. Give that a mix. And we want some one tablespoon of honey or sugar. I've got some honey. Take that off a second. Got some honey. As it stuck. I might have to add sugar instead. One second. I've got honey. I've got honey. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna add, add some honey. Just like that. Don't want too much. And then mix all this in. Mm. 
and this is our this is our sauce. That's all awesome. I I'm going to turn that down. I'm actually going to just be on the safe side. Oh, it's very, very hot. Put this back on here in a minute. Actually, the peas are fine. I was going to actually fry some of them. Oh, it smells really nice, this. And I'm just going to spin you around because we're going to cut into the steak. Put this on the plate. I'll put that to one side. So we're going to get our plate now. Now, you can actually do this. Yeah, it does It does ask for it to go on the plate. So before I do that, let's start to cut one of these steaks up. Do it this way. Can you all see it that way? Hopefully you can see this. Put into this steak. Oh, this is perfect. Let me just get a a knife, just something to hold it down. Yeah, put them into strips. Get rid of the fat then. That. So that's our steak. Can you see everyone? Let me just grab that. Can you see the steak? Perfectly cooked. I'm going to put it on the plate. Nice pieces of steak there. Let's cut the second one. Get rid of that foil. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Into a plate. Oh, this smells really good. <clears throat> no, I have a lot of room. Oh, yes. Okay, can you all see that, everyone? So that's our steak. Take off this a minute. Oh, this looks really good. Just check in on the store. If it doesn't stick, oh, that's perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add, we're going to add, serve with the rice. So we're going to add the rice on next. So the rice should be done. Oh, that, oh, that rice. Oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Let's get a, a nice spoon for this rice. One second. It is still cooking, but this is the rice, everyone. I think the connection's dropped. I'm going to have to move you down a bit. So I'm actually going to let that cook a little bit longer. Just to let it cook a little tiny bit longer, because the steak doesn't matter as long as it's... Because it needs to be a little bit more sticky than that. Okay. I can show you the steak, tasty steak. Always, oh, let's put the peas on actually, we'll do the peas. So this, these are instead of having asparagus. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had these before. Let me just take them. I was going to tell you what was in the Japanese steak mix, in the steak mix. We've got demerara sugar, soy sauce, roasted garlic granules, onion granules, lemon peel granules, orange peel granules, crushed chilli and kelp. There you go. Oh, Alexis, this tastes amazing. Mm. I'm looking forward to putting this rice on. I'm just waiting for it to simmer a little bit longer. 
can't tidy up a bit. Reheat the sauce. So it shouldn't take too long. Let me try and get you, you to see the. There you go, that's a bit better. Yeah, won't be a second. Bit of lime. Yeah, it's starting to come together now a bit more. Oh, yeah, it's lot, that's much better. Much, much better. Right, I'm happy with that. So let's put the rice on. Doesn't matter if there's a, a bit more stock because it's meant to be like that. Oh, I lost my spoon. I've lost my big spoon, everybody. Do you ever do that? Do you ever lose things in the kitchen? There we go, it's in the sink. That's a clean sink, so. So this is the jasmine rice in the in a stock. Oh wow. Put some of this on the plate. Now, as I say, if you do it with mushrooms, mushrooms, you should have mushrooms with this. I've told you what ingredients you need, so you can easily go and, and buy it. Oh, that's perfect. And then we're going to finish this off with, there we go. Hello from Canada. Hello, Dan. Thanks for coming in and watching. So we're just going to heat that, reheat that sauce up really quickly. And the sauce is going to go over. It wants to go over um, just every, just drizzle all over, it says. Drizzle all over. I'm just going to quickly reheat it. So it's going to get hot still. It's actually quite hot already, so I'm going to let it just simmer. So this is what we've made, guys. We've got our Japanese seared steak with the rice, and instead of asparagus, we're having uh, sugar nut peas instead. There we go. And we're going to have this nice sauce all over the top. So let's just drizzle some of that on. Oh, yes. Not sure the other steak gets some. Oh, yeah. I'm going to post a picture of this because the, the stock already has all the... Oh, wow. This is going to be amazing. Just get all that on there. And there we have it, guys. There we have it. So thank you all for watching. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. I'll post, post a picture up on Instagram. So if you want to go and have a look at the picture on there of the dish. Thank you all for watching, everybody. Squeeze of lime juice. Oh, how delicious. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be doing Mexican quesadillas tomorrow. So I look forward to doing them with you. Again, another Simply Cooked recipe. So thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Have a really great day.